Frank said, the task force is a, a collection of elected officials from around the country. Uh, we have eight governors, 13 mayors, three county officials, two tribal leaders, and the president brought this group together uh, so that our efforts uh, in, in this field, the effort to, to combat the impacts of climate change, was informed as locally as possible. He knows, as Mike said, that the, the best ideas are going to come from the ground up. They're going to come from communities who have been dealing uh, with the challenges of climate change for years. Uh, and so many mayors and governors from around the country have been doing incredible work with their citizens. And we uh, saw some of that this morning. We just got back from a great tour of the area to uh, take a look at the work that this city and this region has been doing to uh, prepare for the impacts of climate change. Uh, finding better ways to deal with stormwater, uh, developing new greenways that bring economic development and people downtown, um, and opportunities to expand Knoxville's urban tree canopy. All terrific things that in time uh, will ultimately make this place safer and more resilient. So they're both visiting Knoxville to learn more about how climate change is expected to impact East Tennessee. Today they will be hearing directly from other regional mayors and nearly 20 local stakeholders about how the federal government can assist our local communities in preparing for those impacts. Well, I, I think the um, South Knoxville Waterfront Redevelopment District that we saw, I wanted to make sure I got the name right, I think that uh, seems to me like an excellent example of taking land that uh, really uh, needs to be used in a way that connects the citizens to the waterfront and uh, then builds smartly on the adjacent land. It seems like a fantastic idea to me. Uh, the urban wilderness that we uh, saw uh, was extraordinary. Uh, the, the view from Fort Dickerson, Fort Dickerson Quarry uh, was spectacular. And just to think that the citizens of this region uh, could connect to that sort of uh, natural experience uh, less than a mile from downtown is a pretty extraordinary condition. And I think when a community like this uh, does more things like that. Um, it's an example for other cities around the country to, to look at and to lift up and try to emulate. Um, and then we heard about the energy and the sustainability work that's been going on for years that uh, Mayor O'Hara has championed. And uh, all of that just seems uh, to be rock solid and uh, we applaud it. And really.